And the whole reason we're doing this is because over, after 30 years of, of doing ministry uh, for worship teams, most of the time we never get to scratch the surface. So now there's a chance to really dig deep. And so I'm gonna, we're going to dig deep and we're going to start by going deep personally. Uh, the whole point of this session is that you will get to the end of it and want to go spend time with Jesus. Like that pretty much sums up everything we're meant to do, everything we're meant to be. Love Him, lovers of Jesus, and then go out and love your world around you. Our affection, our devotion, God doesn't respond to atmosphere. So no matter how much atmosphere we create up here, if there's no faith in the people, He's not going to respond to that atmosphere. The anointing will give you the message. Your excellence will get people through the door. The anointing will give you something to say. And that, that's often your gift, right? But only character will give you authority. We encourage our leaders to really circulate and make sure they're connecting with people they wouldn't normally or especially the new people who come. And so that's half an hour of just connecting. And it, that's really been hugely instrumental in getting the sense of this is not just a team who does some stuff on a Sunday. If you haven't pressed play before the clapping dies, it's really awkward. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's exactly, exactly. Pitch, pocket, tone, vibe. Pitch is really important. Tune your instrument, tune your voice. Pocket means, are you sitting in the groove? It's time. Tone, getting a vocal tone. Can you resonate it somewhere different if you need to? And lastly, the vibe. You've, am I feeling it? Is the pitch right? Is it in the pocket? Have I got the right tone? And am I feeling it? At the end of the day, those are your four pillars to make a sound, to make a band sound. Basically, when we're leading worship, when we're part of worship, we're connecting with worship that's already happening, that we're actually creating a resonance with heaven. When you're in tune with what God's saying to the house, it's not forced. Yeah, that's so good. It, 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 you don't have to force it. Yeah. You see that there's engagement on the back row. Yeah, right. Yeah, and the environments we want is worship that goes right to the back row. They want to feel safe. Your congregation want to feel safe, and they feel safe when somebody is up here in confidence. Your, your congregation will reflect how you are. If you are friendly and confident and relaxed in front of them, they will be friendly and confident and relaxed with you. Five, six, three, four. All the stress comes at most of our events is not with, with the content, but actually more around the production and technology. Am I right? Every event you've been at, it's always on the day, is the video gonna work? We've gotta separate their gift from their identity and their self-worth and say, no, you're accepted just for who you are. A good song, a song being like lyrics and melodies, should work with any accompaniment, with a big, you know, symphony track or just with an acoustic guitar. So we're, we're worshipping not only the one that we know as the Son of God, we're worshipping the Lamb that was slain because that's what He did to enable us access back into the throne room of God. And when you recognise both who He is and, and what He's done and how sufficient that work is, that's all we need to get in there.